Good morning, race fans, and thank you for joining us today at Transport Diecast Racing. I'm your host, JT. Welcome to round three of Miata's at the Crest, our first mail-in tournament featuring only the iconic Japanese Roadster. We started with 48 drivers from around the globe. After two rounds, we're now down to 12. The top two drivers from each group will be facing off to determine who advances to round four where the winner of Group 1 will be racing the winner of Group 6, Group 2 will be racing Group 5, and Group 3 will be racing Group 4. Now for the rules. Matches are the best of three. In the event of a third race, the car with the faster lap takes the inside lane. Double DNFs only restart races 1 and 2. The prize for this tournament is sponsored by Slanman Customs. The winner will receive a $30 credit to the Slanman Customs store, along with a pair of axle jigs. You can check out his store through the link in the video description. Starting today off is Group 1 featuring two TDR builds. Eric Slan of Slanman Customs will face off against Dave of We Race Diecast. Eric Slan will start on the inside lane. He has the faster time between the two of them. And he also has the faster time on the last round. And Slan keeps that inside lane advantage. But Dave's getting really close. And Dave drifts and loses any chance he has of taking this win. Eric drifts as well, but luckily straightens out right before the finish. Slan takes race number one with the 15.550 time. And here's where Dave messed up. Looks like some understeer there, and he drifts out. And I don't think he even finishes. Switch sides, Dave is on the inside now. Dave needs this win to stay alive, and he needs to beat a 15.550 time to retain the inside lane, and he keeps the inside lane advantage. He's putting down a great run, left Eric in the dust, and a clean finish from Dave with a 15.567 time. A few hundredths of a second too slow, and Eric Slan will return to the inside lane. And there he goes. Maybe we can find out through replay what happened. And wow, Dave really put it on him hard right there. Slan falling way behind. Bad run by Slan, but a great run by Dave. And now we switch sides. Slan returns to the inside lane. Let's see if Dave can overtake before they hit the open track. He's staying right on him, but no chance there. Dave not able to keep up like he did in the first race. Oh, Slan does a 180. Hits a few walls, but he has enough distance to take the second win. And he finishes with a 16.829, and he, oh, bad crash. Here goes the replay. A little bit of drifting from Dave. A lot of drifting, actually. That slows him down a lot. Slan drifts himself, but he spins right out of it. So with two wins, Eric Slan will advance to round four, and he will face the winner of group six. Now for our second matchup. From Group 2, we have Uncle Elvis of Uncle Elvis Racing facing off against Boog of 4-6 Diecast Racing. Uncle Elvis will start on the inside lane as the higher seed. He has the faster time between the two of them and the faster last lap. And Uncle Elvis will hold on to that inside lane advantage. Boog drifting there, loses a lot of distance. And Uncle Elvis has got this one easily as long as he can stay clean, which he does. Good finish from Uncle Elvis with a 16.318 time. Boog not too far behind there at the end. And a bad drift there from Boog. Really puts a lot of distance between him and Uncle Elvis. Uncle Elvis way out in the lead now, and Boog has no chance of getting back in time. Switch sides now. Boog will take the inside lane, and he needs a win to stay alive and he needs to beat 16.310 to stay on the inside lane. Uncle Elvis with a terrible take on that curve goes into the fence and he's nowhere to be seen now. I'm not sure if he's still moving, but Boog has this one in the bag as long as he can finish, which he does. He gets a freebie from Uncle Elvis, but he does not beat that 16.310 time. So Uncle Elvis will return to the inside lane and he did get stuck. But there he goes. 
tries to gutter out of that. But he doesn't have enough momentum. And he comes to a stop next to the grudge cars. Switch lanes again. Uncle Elvis returns to the inside lane. Good luck to Boog. He did not do very well on the first run. And Uncle Elvis is putting some distance on him again. Boog's doing better this time than last. Uncle Elvis spins out of control but regathers himself. And he stays in front. Boog almost steals the win, but Uncle Elvis finishes with a 16.830 time. Uncle Elvis with the bad jump, hits the wall, spins out, but he stays in front of Boog and blocks him. And Boog tapping him a few times on the way to the finish, but he just couldn't get around. Uncle Elvis with two wins will advance to round four. On to our next matchup. From Group 3, we have David Curran of the League of Speed racing Dom Woodley of Dom's Tuner Shop. Curran has the better best time and the better last time. And he will start on the inside lane as the higher seed. Dom's keeping it really tight, but he does not take the advantage. And this race is really tight the whole way through. Dom is nipping at Curran's heels, waiting for a mistake. Oh, no mistake, but Dom does tap him in the back and drift out of control. If he had controlled that better, he might have taken the first win. And for the replay, they're doing basically the same thing. I think Dom might be a little faster than him. Good turn there from both of them. A better turn out of Dom, but Curran blocks and takes win number one. And now we switch sides. Dom Woodley will start on the inside lane. David Curran takes the outside lane. Dom needs to beat a 16.450 to stay on the inside lane. And he hangs on to the inside advantage. Dom starting to put distance between them. Curran with the bad drift, and it looks like this is Dom's race. And he finishes strong, 15.967. And he does enough to keep the inside lane. Curran with the understeer crawls down that drop and then crawls through the rest of the track. No chance there. All right, race number three, Dom Woodley on the inside lane. And they're pretty much the same speed there. Some drifting out of Curran gives Dom some distance. Dom's putting down a clean run. Ooh, I spoke too soon. A lot of pinballing, but he still makes it all the way to the finish with a win. 17.159. And there goes Curran with a drift or two. Three. All while Dom's putting down a clean run. And a sloppy jump from Curran and a bad take on the Sizzler puts this race out of reach. And so Dom Woodley will advance to round four with his two wins. And we'll be right back after this short message. If you're looking to upgrade your track, look no further than Slam Man Customs. Slam Man Customs makes high quality 3D printed track parts and accessories, including start gates, 45 degree turns, 90 degree turns, 180 degree turns, and the new banked Crash Racer 45 degree turn as well as many other parts and accessories to upgrade your track. Visit Slam Man Customs on Facebook and use the promo code for 10% off your Now that we're back, it's time for Group 4. Again featuring two TDR builds, Asmi G will face Ollie, both from Transport Diecast Racing. Sorry Asmi, I'm gonna have to root for Ollie for this one. Asmi starts on the inside lane, keeps that inside lane advantage, Ollie's right on him, almost passes from the outside. A bad landing from Asmi gives Ollie a chance. Can he do this? Oh, last minute win. Ollie with the comeback. Let's take a look at the replay. Asmi drifts off the jump and makes some wall contact. Gives Ollie a chance to pull back in. 
and Ollie has just enough speed to pass him right before the finish line. Go, Ollie! All right, switch lanes. Ollie is now on the inside lane. Asmi needs a win and to beat 17.996. And it's really tight. Ollie doing the Noki Jack maneuver. And he finishes the rest of the race. Uh, no, he doesn't finish backwards. Ollie finds an opportunity to turn his car around. And he takes win number two. 18.129. Not impressive. And that really does not look good for his chances next round. Wow, that was a clean block by Ollie. Let's take a look at it again. Asmi tries to bully him, but Ollie comes right back with that block. Puts a lot of distance between them. And he takes the win and advances to round four, where he will be facing Dom Woodley. All right, group five, we have Benny Wilson of Slanman Customs driving against Big Romy of Rivera Racing. Big Romy will start on the inside lane as the higher seed. He has the better best time and the better last time. So things aren't looking that good for Benny Wilson on paper. And Big Romy keeps the inside lane advantage. Benny Wilson keeping it tight. Drifts down the drop and loses a lot of distance. Big Romy now with a comfortable lead and an easy win. 17.4 seconds. Let's see if Benny can beat that time from the inside lane. That's slower than his best time and his last time. And there goes Benny losing control. They both lose control, but Benny does it much worse. Benny moves to the inside lane, and he needs to beat a 17.455 time if he wants to stay inside. Looks like he will hold on to that inside lane advantage. Putting a lot of distance between him and Big Romy. Big Romy with the bad drift on that back straight. And, oh, Big Romy's coming back, but too late. Benny with a 17.109 time will stay on the inside lane. Let's take a look at the replay. Benny with the bad jump. Everybody's got a bad jump today. I think we might have some track issues. But Benny with a cleaner finish. And he maintains that lead and gets the win. Now for race three, Benny will stay on the inside lane. Big Romy needs this win to keep Rivera racing his hopes alive. But Benny with a bigger lead this time as they enter the open track. Big Romy doing much better though. Bad drift from Benny. Oh, bad drift. Big Romy overtakes. And he drifts out. Benny overtakes. Holy crap. Bad finish from both of them, but Benny with a slightly better finish. And he will take the second win and advance to round four. And Benny with that terrible drift going down the jump and off the jump. Big Romy with an overtake, but he understeers and loses all momentum. Benny with just enough speed to get around him. And luckily, he hits the guardrail and gets back on the track. So with those two wins, Benny Wilson will advance to round four, where he will be facing Uncle Elvis of Uncle Elvis Racing in a tough matchup. And now for the last matchup of the day. From group six, we have Doc of Regaroo Racing facing off against Big Al of Big Al's Customs. Both of Big Al's wins have come from upsets. Let's see if he can pull it off again. Doc starts on the inside lane and it looks like he will hold on to that inside lane advantage. He's putting a lot of distance on Big Al. Let's see if he can finish clean. A nice drop, nice jump, a little drifting, but oh. Not a clean finish from Doc, but clean enough to take the win. And here comes Big Al. He must have drifted coming out of that sizzler. Let's see if we can find out what happened here. Oh, a bad drift into the drop. And then a bad take on the sizzler. Switch sides, Big Al's now on the inside lane. He needs a win here, and he needs to beat 17.766. But Doc takes the inside lane advantage back. Big Al a lot closer this time. Doc with the bad drift and Big Al comes back. But he doesn't have enough speed. Oh. Ah. 
a mistake from Doc, but Big Al cannot take it. Now we take a look at the replay. Doc with the bad drift there. Gives Big Al the chance that he needs. I think Doc pulled off a block there. And right here, he gets lucky. If he doesn't make contact with that wall, he might have lost the race. And now, Doc will advance to round four, and he will be facing Eric Slan of Slanman Customs. Both driving TDR cars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for round three. Next week, we'll be racing in rounds four and five. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.